Hello learners, hope you all are doing good. This is the continuous video for OCI Generative AI solution. So I have already created two videos for solution of OCI Generative AI professional certification, which is on our YouTube channel Learning Prat, where I have covered 20 questions. Now in this video also, I will cover 10 more question okay so as you all of know that oracle is providing oci generative ai professional certificate free till 31st july 2024 so it's a great opportunity to learn something and get certified in it so i'm providing solution for the exam also i'm providing the detailed solution of it so you can go through my video so these two are the solution video. I will upload one new video also. And the registration video is here. OCI Generative AI Professional Certification. So you will get all the details from this video and get registered. Enroll yourself and get certified also. So good luck. Let's start with the 21st question number. So first question is what does a dedicated RDMA cluster network do during model fine tuning and inference? So uh, you need to check uh, what is uh, basically RDMA uh, works, how it functions. So basically RDMA allows efficient communication, making it possible to deploy multiple fine tuned models within a single GPU cluster. So uh, basically, it helps us to uh, deploy multiple fine-tuned model within a single cluster. So out of these four options, the fourth option, it enables the deployment of multiple fine-tuned model within a single cluster looks appropriate to me and this will be your correct answer. Now let's move to 22nd question. Which Oracle Accelerated Data Science ADS class can be used to deploy a LLM application to OCI data science model deployment? So we have four options. First option is Generative AI. Second option is Text Loader. Third option is Chain Deployment. Fourth option is Retrieval QA. So uh, I think the correct option is Chain Deployment. Because to deploy a LLM application to OCI data science model deployment, we can use chain deployment class in Oracle Accelerated Data Science. This feature allows you to deploy serializable Langchain application as a REST API on Oracle Cloud data science model deployment. So the correct option will be chain deployment. Now next question, how does the RAG token technique differ from RAG sequence when generating model response? So uh, RAG token re re retrieves relevant document for each part of the response and construct the answer incrementally. So for me, the correct option would be RAG token retrieve relevant document for each part of the response and construct the answer incrementally. So this is the correct option. The fourth one. Now let's move to another question, which is which component of RAG evaluate the retrieve the information retrieved by the retrieval system? So uh, the component of RAG evaluate and prioritize the information retrieved by the retrieval system is the ranker. Okay. So the third option is correct for us. The ranker assesses the relevance of retrieve document and determine their importance in generating the final response. So correct option is third. Now let's move to another question, which is not a typical use case for Langsmith evaluators. So the accessing code readability is not a typical use case for Langsmith evaluator. These evaluators are primarily designed for tasks such as evaluating factual accuracy, detecting bias or toxicity, and measuring coherence of generated text. 
assessing code readability would fall outside the intended scope that's why the second option assessing code readability is the correct option now let's move to another question what is the primary purpose of langsmith trace the primary purpose for langsmith tracing is to analyze the reasoning process of language model it help us to understand how the model arrive at its decision and provide insights into its internal working so correct option will be to monitor the performance of language model you create a fine tuning dedicated ai cluster to customize a fund foundational model with your custom training how many unit work are required for finding fine tuning if the cluster is active for 10 hours so if cluster is active for 10 hours so i believe it will take around 20 unit hour so i will go with 20 unit hour uh, some people say it will take 10 unit hour but it's wrong it would be 20 unit hours okay now let's move to another question how does the architecture of dedicated ai cluster contribute to minimizing gpu memory overhead uh, overhead for t few tuned model inference so uh, i think the second option by sharing base model bit across multiple fine tune model on the same group of gpu is correct option why it's correct option because uh, it addresses how the architecture of dedicated artificial intelligence cluster can minimize gpu memory overhead by sharing the base model bit across multiple fine tune model the cluster can avoid loading redundant bits into memory multiple time instead it leverages the spare bits reducing overall memory consumption on the gpu so the second option looks appropriate uh, for this question and the correct answer will be second option which statement is true about langchain expression language lcel so uh, basically lcel uh, is a declarative and preferred way to compose chain together lcl is indeed a declarative language designed specifically for composing chains basically pipelines in lang chain it provides a concise and preferred method to define workflow or sequence of operation in lang chain making it more easier to express complex processing logic without explicitly writing procedural code that's why i think the second option lcl is a declarative and preferred way to compose chains together is correct option so i will go with the second option now given a code a code qa conversational retrieval chain from l from 11m 11 retrieval retv memory equals to memory when does a chain typically interact with memory during execution after user input before but before chain execution and again after core logic but before output only after the output has been generated continuously throughout the entire chain execution process before user input and after chain execution given the flowing code prompt prompt template input variable human input city template template which statement is true about prompt template in relation to input variable so uh, this is a bit uh, uh, tricky but uh, we will just go through the questions options first so first option is prompt template is unable to use any variable no it's wrong it always support to use variable prompt template requires a minimum of two variable to function properly no no it's not required to have any minimum criteria so second option is also wrong third option is prompt template can support only a single variable at a time no we can use multiple variable at a time prompt template supports any number of variable including the possibility of having none yeah so fourth option is correct one because prompt template can support multiple number of variable including the possibility of having none okay 
so these are the 10 questions which i covered in this video and i hope uh, you guys will go through the part 1 and part 2 video where i have covered around 20 20 questions now with this video you will have total 30 questions i will create two more video to have 20 more questions so please like share and subscribe to our channel learning plant please share with your friends and colleague and it's a great opportunity to get certified in oracle generative ai because it's a professional course after 31st july it will be paid service and you need to uh, pay uh, a good amount of money to get certify in this exam so it's a good chance to get certify in free please show some uh, love to our youtube channel also please help us to reach 1k thank you everyone